Okay. Hi. This is not the usual video I'd be making. It's only like tangentially about my OCs. It's mostly about homestuck quadrants. Um uh, a few days ago I figured out that my girl, Agnes Capula, my queen, my icon, she has like complete quadrants, which is shocking because she has no friends or anyone who likes her really anymore. And yeah, I mean, most of the people who like her are dead now. Anyways, I'm going to be using this as a learning opportunity for all of you little people out there in the world. Let's talk about homestuck in my OCs. They're not troll sonas, I promise. They're just human people who I'm just applying this concept to. Okay, okay. First, we got mate spirits. I, I used to say it as mate spirits, but that sounds like a horse girl thing. Anyways, this is mate spirits. Um, this is like the most traditional kind of romance. It's got, like, by human standards, it's got, like, love and pity and shit. And the the patron of this quadrant, um, it's Lewis, everybody's favorite Agnes partner over the years, and also one of the two that exist. Um, yeah, their love is just kind of traditional, like, I mean, I guess marrying a guy because he's the first person who's, like, ever been nice to you and not died immediately. I guess that's not exactly traditional, but still, you know, who cares? They're in love. I love them. Um, yeah. <laughs> They got all that love and pity shit, so I think that works, you know, who cares. Next up we got Moira Allegiance, however you pronounce that. Um, so the tricky thing about this is that Agnes doesn't really have many friends or people she views positively. Uh, but we got, like, one exception, and that's gonna be her Moira by default. And that is Roxanne. Roxanne is, like, one of the only people she doesn't have, like, very negative feelings about. Like, the only negativity she feels about her is that she's jealous that the people she loves won't die because they're vampires. And she wished that, like, her sister was a vampire and her friends from high school were vampires and her husband was a vampire. So they wouldn't fucking die. And yeah, but they're mostly friends. They can go drinking together. It's they're good. They're fucking good. It's fucking good. Okay, I know this isn't going like left to right quadrant style, but we're doing Kismasis next. So Kismasis, Kismasis, Kismasis. <laughs> I see. There's not many. There's a lot of people Agnes hates, okay? But there's only one very special man that Agnes particularly hates and wants to fuck at the same time. And that is Antonio, her husband, until she died. And they're very special because, you know, they fuck and they hate each other and they're fun. But they're also, like, married. It's It's kind of... They're in, like, a marriage of convenience, but that doesn't stop them from having hate sex. That's that's not how it works, you know? Anyways, this this was this is quick. The next one's gonna be long, okay? Okay, now we got the quadrant that nobody likes, and I think it's, like, auspices, whatever. It's the mediator for the Kismas of people. Um, here's the complicated thing. This is a doozy. I do not know enough about this quadrant to, like, accurately say, without a shadow of the doubt, that, um, blah, 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 that this is how it works. Because, like, I'm not sure if the people in the Kismasis are also dating the mediator in that kind of way. And that makes this really complicated because... 
the the mediator for the kiss mess dude between uh, Agnes and Antonio is child Sally, who is Agnes's child. So if they're all fucking, that would be weird and strange because Agnes and Antonio are like very abusive people, but they are not abusive in that kind of way. Uh, this is the complicated thing. <laughs> Yeah, like, 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 my, my boyfriend's fan trolls are dating their, the, the guy who is kiss bestuting mediating for them, who was my guy. I don't get how this works, okay? It's, is it a Homestuck video without some kind of confusion? No, it ain't. I guess this is just how it goes. Okay. I think I need a nap. (laughs) Happy New Year. It's six o'clock.